Hello and welcome to the Malloy Playoff Preview. My name is Robert Goldberg and today I'm here with men's soccer goalkeeper Nick Conklin. Nick, thanks for sitting down with me. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to it. So you guys come into the season after winning the conference last year. You get voted number one in the preseason this year. What was the energy like around the team when you guys first started this preseason in practice? Yeah, yeah. So the energy was, when energy was high, it was very great uh, to come back in, especially after the success we had last season, um, to be able to get the ball rolling uh, day one. Uh, everybody was, you know, it's always good to see everybody after the summer, long break, um, get back into it. And the mindset was always, you know, it's nice to be recognized uh, as number one in the preseason poll. Um, but to just show it on the field as well. So put in the work in every day and just seizing the opportunities as they come game by game. So now you mentioned a lot of guys, it was good to see them after the summer break and stuff like that, but you had a lot of new guys this year. You guys lost 15 upperclassmen from the year before. What was it like building the chemistry with the new guys on the practice field before the season started? Yeah, so we definitely lost a couple of key players um, throughout the, the lineup. Um, but like you said, the new guys that we had that we had come in that Ty recruited, they really stepped up. We had some guys that maybe didn't have as many minutes last year that also stepped up into um, bigger roles, uh, such as Gio Fabiano have, you know, being a main goal scorer. Um, guys like JP Rodriguez stepping up in, in key games and setting the tone with a couple goals. And then a uh, new guy like uh, Ryan Dobson uh, coming in and scoring some key goals as well. So it's been great to have... You know, a mix of goal scores this year and um, a lot of firepower up top and as well. Uh, the chemistry in the back line hasn't really, we haven't really missed a step with that. So it's been, it's been awesome to be a part of that, at least group. So you, group. you talk about your goal scorers. You guys have been in a lot of close games this year. You guys have battled for six draws. What's the mindset that you guys have when you're in a tight game or when you're behind a goal, let's say with 10 minutes left? You guys have also scored your fair amount of goals in the last two minutes. A lot of excitement for the team. What is that like as a, just as a unit? What's the mindset in close games? Yeah, so uh, one of the biggest things that we've ta harped on this year is being resilient um, and dealing with adversity. We dealt with a lot of adversity, whether that's injuries, like you said, being down a goal um, in the UDC game, going down a goal and coming back, as well as the Mercy game. Um, so just being being tough to beat, even though you know we might bend, but we don't break, and just and staying in it. And like I said, seizing the moment, uh, staying present has been a key thing this year with the mindset. Um, and yeah. You game by game, yeah. You guys are unblemished in the ECC this year, 6-0-2, and, and it's propelled you to the top seed. How important was it to get a result in each game? How tight the standings were. You guys finished two points ahead of Queens to finish in the top spot. But how important was it not only not to lose, because nobody wants to lose, but always getting the result at the end of the game? Yeah, so every game in conference matters, you know. The, the points are there for the taking. And like you said, if you even if you tie a couple of games, it can really keep you down. Those three points are so important. They're so crucial. So just taking, taking it game by game and um, making the most out of um, the 90 minutes you have. Um, and it really helped. It's like I said, being able to score more than one goal a game. We've had a couple, you know, some two goal games. So it, being able to have that um, in our toolbox uh, gets us through and getting those three points is important. So now yourself as a goalkeeper, keeping the ball out of the back end is always the goal and the priority. But do you have confidence in that back line? They have confidence in you. What's the relationship that you have with the back line of defenders? Oh, I tell you what, I have full confidence in the back line. We've had a different combination of guys, but guys like uh, Orlando Zambrano, um, Nikolai Kutsop, Adam Wisniewski, and then I have, you know, I have between uh, Danny Muir, Mat Matthias Adamick, and uh, Jonas Jacobson, all of those guys, you know, they got my back. They know I have their back. Um, and we're always working on our, you know, the details in practice, making sure we're getting the right reps. Um, communication is key for us in terms of, like I said, being tough to beat. Being, we harp ourselves on being a very defensive mindset team, um, so keeping those clean sheets is, is you know, like bonus bonus for us. Um, and yeah, it's just a key part of the game. And like I said, uh, it's great to have guys not only that you love to play with, but you know, being able to spend good time off the field. So when we come in every day to do our work, you know, we're, we're able to work with guys that we're on the same we're on the same page with everything. So it's been it's been great. So the regular season's come to an end. Flip the script now. You go into the postseason play hosting Roberts this Thursday at John A. Darcy Field. What's it mean to have this game at home, and what's the mindset against a team like Roberts, a team that tied you guys early in the season? Yeah, so going into this week, uh, playoff week, you know, the best, best time of the year. We're all excited. We're thrilled to have the game at home. Uh, we've been great at home. Last year we struggled a little bit uh, with our home games. So coming in this season, the mindset has been to be undefeated at home. Uh, we were really hard to beat at home. Uh, it was at 5-1-2. Five, five, um, so we really built a fortress here at the Den. Uh, we're excited to welcome Roberts to Rockville Center. And the mindset going into um, the game Thursday is every, everything resets. 
in playoffs. Uh, it's just being in the present, like I said before, making sure we're getting our proper reps in and preparation this week and, and taking care of business and moving on through the semifinal and getting to, getting to Sunday. So okay. That'll do it for the Malloy playoff preview. Nick, thanks for sitting down with me, and good luck on Thursday. Thanks, Rob.